with the light weld laser welders that we have people have been asking what kinds of metals can you uh, weld with this welder and it's, it's pretty cool so along with it came this uh, little cheat sheet it says on here I can do stainless steel mild steel galvanized steel titanium just getting that would be the fun part nickel alloy aluminum of all different grades and it's got three different setting ones and copper I want to see how strong of a weld we can get so these are clips off the paper pals that we manufacture we're gonna play around uh, we're gonna try a setting weld it together and break it. you can see we got two massive blades here and they come down at a perfect 90 degree angle and then all the extra pieces come down here you can see that that puts off quite the uh, shreds of aluminum it's kind of pretty though so that's the back side I wouldn't say that it 100% penetrated through on one run but look at that bead on the front not bad let's put pressure on it let's see how well it handles whether the metal breaks or the bead. Well, I'm applying a lot of pressure. Wow. It's getting a little tough. Well, that looks like it's holding together pretty darn good. Look at that weld. It didn't do anything to that weld, but it sure had fun on that. So that's held it together pretty darn good, if you ask me. Okay, here's the second piece welded on one side. See, I'm putting tons and tons of pressure on this thing. Well, that's as far as it's going to go. Looks like it's still in one piece. You can see a lot of pressure. I dented that up. Weld. No craft whatsoever in there. And, wow, I would have to say that's pretty well penetrated through for a single side. So, if I can fit in here with that, this angle. So, I've got two pieces of extruded aluminum here on the bench held it in on by a perfect right angle with the table right down below it a couple of times holding it in there and we're going to break it i made a mistake we will have wire feed on this first one i forgot to turn off the wire feeder so it is fitting wire out of there you see this button What's really cool is I can get to the right leg by just clicking the pulling back. Very easy to control on this. Keep my uh, lead right. So I guess on this first one, it's 1500 watts, wobble five, and wire. warmer because it's more water than normal so that gets in there and let's see this get a little bit of burn through so we can see that it did penetrate pretty well with no wire whatsoever. All right. Inside the grooves, closes that up pretty good. Now let's take this over to the brake press and see how the pressure can handle this. Get that centered in there. 
right, and there is our failure point. Right there. But we're going to keep going, and we're going to find out how deep of a penetration did that well get. All right, let's try to get this all the way flat. Okay, go back to fast mode. There's not enough pressure in there. Okay, so we pretty much flatten that out. As it comes up. Well, picking up the whole excursion. All right, I guess we have to manually remove that so you can see those welds didn't break whatsoever. We actually had incredible penetration on that corner. And the inside doesn't look like it had any issues at all. It completely flattened itself back out. That weld did not break. 